وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول A questioner asked, can you explain to me if loving my kafir parents is permissible? Is it permissible for me to say I love you to them, etc.? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala abdillahi wa rasulih nabiyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. There are two types of love for the purpose of answering this question. There is a love which is tabi'i. It's a natural love. Something which Allah has placed within you, which is natural. Like the fact that a child loves their parents or a husband loves his wife, for example. This natural love is not blameworthy if it is directed towards a non-Muslim. Uh, for example, a man might have a Jewish or Christian wife. A man or a woman might have a non-Muslim parent. There's a natural love that you have towards them. And you can express that natural love and you can say such a thing to them. And in fact, there is hope that that will bring them closer to Islam, inshallah. However, there is a love which is a love for the sake of the religion. And that is something that you cannot have for your non-Muslim parent or non-Muslim, uh, for example, a husband who is non-Muslim, a Jewish or Christian wife, for example. That is something that you cannot have. So when you think of them in terms of religion, there has to be a hatred. There has to be a hatred. And that is something which is explicitly mentioned in the Quran. Enmity and hatred has appeared between us and between you. And so there is no doubt that when you think of them in a religious sense, and you look at the religion that they practice, which is not the religion of Islam, that has to be a, there has to be a religious hatred for that. Not just for the action, but even for the person in terms of the action that they are doing in relation to the action that they are doing. But that doesn't stop there being a natural love. Now, someone might say that's difficult to understand. And I can understand that that is a little bit difficult to understand. But let me give you, let me give you an example. Let me give you the example of a parent that has a child who is a criminal. For example, that child uh, has committed a crime. Ultimately, as a parent, you still love that child. It's still your child. But when you think of the crime they committed, you have a hatred for them for committing that crime and of the crime itself. And if that's a crime towards people, then a crime towards Allah is even greater than that. But that doesn't stop the natural love uh, that a person has for their parents and that doesn't stop you expressing that to them and perhaps this will be a reason to bring them closer to Islam or in along or along with being good to them, being kind to them, being righteous towards them, giving them the best treatment as parents because Allah has said وَإِن جَاهَدَاكَ عَلَىٰ أَن تُشْرِكَ بِمَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِنْ فَلَا تُطِعْهُمَا وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا and if they encourage you and they strive to make you make a partner with me in that which you have no knowledge, do not obey them and accompany them in this world in the best way. That's what Allah made easy for me to mention and Allah knows best. If you have any questions you'd like to see answered as part of this series, then you can email us at questions at amau.org.